People vs. Mapa, GRL 22301, August 13, 1967. Facts. Mario Mapa was charged with illegal possession of firearm and ammunition in an information dated August 1942 in violation of Section 878 of the Revised Administrative Code in connection with Section 2692 of the Revised Administrative Code as amended by CA-56 and as further amended by RA-4. Accused admits possession of firearm on the ground of being a secret agent of a governor. On November 27, 1963, the lower court rendered a decision convicting the accused of the crime and sentenced him to imprisonment of one year and one day to two years. As the appeal involves a question of law, it was elevated to the Supreme Court. Issue. Whether a secret agent duly appointed by a governor is exempt from the requirement of having a license to carry firearm. Held. The law is explicit that it is unlawful for any person to possess any firearm, detached parts of firearms or ammunition, or any instrument used or intended to be used in the manufacture of firearms, parts of firearms or ammunition, except when such firearms are in the possession of public officials and public servants in the performance of their official duties. Firearms and ammunitions are regularly and lawfully issued to officers, soldiers, sailors, or marines, the Philippine Constabulary, guards in the employment of the Bureau of Prisons, municipal police, provincial governors, lieutenant governors, provincial treasurers, municipal treasurers, municipal mayors, and guards of provincial prisoners and jails. The law, therefore, cannot be any clearer. No provision is made for a secret agent. Reliance in the decision in People v. Makarandang is misplaced, and the case no longer speaks with authority to the extent that the present decision conflicts with. It may be noted that in People v. Makarandang, a secret agent was acquitted on appeal on the assumption that the appointment of the accused as a secret agent to assist in the maintenance of peace and order campaigns and detection of crimes sufficiently put him under the category of a peace officer, equivalent even to a member of the municipal police expressly covered by Section 879. In the present case, therefore, the conviction must stand. The Supreme Court affirmed the judgment.